Hello, my little bumbling peeps. It's me, Sonic Storm 12. Okay, so I get asked a lot of times how to create the shaking effect in Adobe. It's quite simple. You could probably do it with Sony Vegas if you have Motion Editor and you can keyframe it and all that happy shiz. So, today I'm going to show you how to create the shaking effect. So, first off, we need to open this. We'll do this video since it's already pretty much there and it's faster to upload. Or not upload, I should say load it. Okay, this is a video that no one has heard of yet, except for a couple of my friends. I sent them little betas and whatnots, but anyways. We'll be able to get spirit clip if I'm correct. It should yeah, have a little clip. Okay. Notice no effects. Point taken, but whatever. Okay, first you highlight motion. Which is this little thing here. Sorry I can't ease in because snag it really sucks and when I do it's real fuzzy. So I'll just send pictures and you guys can look at that shiz. So when you highlight this it'll also highlight this little... the video over here. Sorry I suck at talking. So what you do is you grab the side, you stretch it out, which right there would probably be good. Don't want to do it too much or else you won't be able to see the clip. Keep it highlighted. You click on this little circle here or round thing, looks like a little ball or whatever. You can, you don't have to open this, it's real pointless. You can also do rotation, which we need. So, my style of shaking is probably around two, or not two, sorry, three to four frames, depending on the pace of the song, which this one we'll do um, three. <coughs> so what you do is you click on the video, you drag the clip over to as far as you want, or, you know, all that shit. Then you just keep dragging it, placing it in random spots. Go up, down, side, side. It's kind of tedious if you're doing a really long clip, but no, we don't want that clip. It ends there. Okay. And also, if there's a little bit left, you can either do another frame, or you can just go like that. And drag all your little keyframes over to where they're even, or not even, it depends on how you want to do your style. And for rotation, my style is I usually do in between each of these little keyframes, or skip every few, depending on the pace of the song, again. So, what we'll do is... 4 degrees to the right and 4 degrees to the left is how I do it. We'll do it again here. Go minus 4, and here, minus 4, and of course if you don't think it's enough, which I don't, oops, you can drag these over, go to minus 4 again, and even them out to where you want them to be. And that should be enough to uh, create a nice little shake. If you can see it move, I don't know if you can. It's fairly decent. If you notice, this little thing here is red. So, what you do is enter. I found that out not too long ago, which is really stupid. Didn't say play. And yes, I am using multiple crappy things and whatnot. Okay, so now, play it. You can see it moves. No, it doesn't. Really? Okay. You probably won't be able to see it, but... Yeah, because Snagit sucks and all this. But that's how you do uh, the shaking effect in Adobe. And like I said, you could probably do it in... Um, Sony Vegas, which I have, but I never use. Because Adobe is far more superior to Sony Vegas. But anyways... If there's anything else you'd like to know, just tell me and I will attempt to record it and show you, even though I really suck at this stuff. So hopefully that helped some of you peeps out. So, later!